In this video I'm going to show you how to present your drawings uh, for orthogonal. Um, for this we need to get three different views. So what we need is these little pictures of houses up here and to get them you need to go up to view, view to toolbars and views. Um, that brings up that little house icon um, and you can select different different angles as your top view, your side view, or your front view side view and view um, but for this to be done properly what we have to do is go up to camera and we have to put it in parallel projection so that means that when you're looking at it there's no perspective in the picture anymore um, now for a starter you would need to have this large tool set and if you don't don't have that you need to go to uh, view toolbars and have large tool set selected. Once you've done that, what we need is this is our top view. What we need is some overall measurements that we would be requiring. Just probably three or four different measurements that you'd need. Um, after that's done, you'd want to try to centre this in the middle of your page. Use H on the keyboard to bring up the uh, pan tool. And I'll make it as big as I can without taking anything out of it. Once you've got that, you need to go down and access your snipping tool. Um, drag the snipping tool over the section that you want to show and that will cut that picture for you and you simply have to find that uh, folder you made earlier um, JPEG is the easiest format to use if you select that um, and we're going to write uh, what we're going to call this piece so Orthogonal, and it's a top view. Okay, so you can get rid of that. Go back to your drawing. Um, get rid of those measurements because we're going to have a different view now. Front view. If you don't like the look of these lines here, you can go up to... I'm trying to remember where it was. Not that. Right. There we go. Um, so view and axes. So they're gone now. You don't see them in the road when you're presenting a drawing. Um, so the other thing is, yes, we're going to zoom in on it a little bit, get some overall sort of measurements, things that you might wish to display sometimes you get information that's a bit tricky to grab so um, at the moment it's showing the distance between as the crow flies but if you rip this upwards it'll show you the distance between those two points and you see that the uh, that number actually changes so if we're careful we can get information we need we're happy with that we go back to our snipping tool and only snip as much as you need there so we've got another one we're going to save that as well orthogonal and this is front front view and last one we need to get ourselves an end view. There we go. All right. Some 
basic measurements again. That'll do for this drawing. And snip that last picture again. Side or in view will do for that. And hopefully this all comes together. Now, the other thing you need is to open yourself up a Word uh, picture and Word uh, document and find where we insert the pictures from. Good. So just use Word to um, display your pictures and then it's probably the easiest way to print them all. Just make them all fit onto one page would be fine. Make my uh, Word a little bit smaller here. That's a bit sloppy there, but um, I'm sure you guys can uh, use Word better than I can. But um, if they're presented all on the one page, that's fine by me. It's probably not all going to fit now. So you mess around with that until you get uh, all the three presented nicely on one page. Um, if you're good at Word again, you can type in what they're actually called beside them um, to label them. Front view, in view, side view. Um, and that's enough for orthogonal that would be presented nicely in your folios and you can print that out.